Hello again, I'm Vincent, your partner to adventurism in the northeast of India. Today I'm in Pak district and I'm going to explore Kejakeno, the legendary Naga village. Kejakeno is about 55 kilometers from Kohima via Mao, Manipur and 23 kilometers away from the highest township in Nagaland, Futsero. You can also come to Kejakeno via the NEC road, Northeast Council Road, Visema Kidima Kejakeno, which is approximately 48 kilometers and probably the best road today to reach Kejakeno. The legendary Naga village Kejakeno is laced with myths and legends, and I'm so excited to explore all this. So come along and let's explore Kejakeno. Kejakeno, the ancestral home of the Nagas, is a village of myths and legends. Many Naga tribes are believed to have migrated from Kejakeno to other parts of Nagaland today. The name Kejakeno is reported to have derived its name from the word Kejano, which means tax. Neighboring villagers paid tax for protection and villagers established after dispersing from Kejakeno also paid tax to their ancestral home. While the people of Kejakeno are called Gozami after the name of the ancestor founder of the village whose name is said to be Goza. So this is the chief priest's house, the house of ancestor Theo, and they call it Mowoke. The practice and recognition of Mowo, as in the chief priest, was hereditary or true lineage of Mowo's clan. Ancestor Theo was perhaps the last chief priest, and with the advent of Christianity, there is no more heir to it except the old remnants and the house. The legend amongst the natives speaks of these stones as the remnants of the mythical growing stone which tried to reach the sky. Jinisabe is a reserve site, a sacred place used only by the chief priest for the purpose of public proclamation and information to the villagers. This site is called Zinika, the nose of the lake. It is believed to be the nose of the ancient lake that once existed. The water here is constantly consistent throughout the year, a perennial source of spring water pond, even in summer as well as in winter. The Tawabo is believed to be a sacred place in the ancient times, located today in a school campus. The traditional historical mythology has it that if when Tawabo is tempered, then the weather condition is affected by severe thunderstorm and drought. 
The legend of the spirit stone, Zotawo, is fascinating to the traveler and carries a significant lesson to mankind. The magnificent spirited flat stone upon which, if a basket of paddy is parched in the sun in the forenoon, it generates double fault in the afternoon. However, the quarrels and jealousy amongst brothers to take more chances to dry their paddy made their mother worried and apprehensive that after her death, there would be bloodshed among her children fighting over the spirit stone. So she destroyed it by setting it on fire. With a loud deafening noise, it erupted and cracked the spirit stone into several pieces, while they saw something like a dove ascending to heaven. From then on, they even began to speak different dialect, and perhaps triggered the first phase of Naga migration from Kejakeno. Although the charm of the stone is said to have gone as it was burned and destroyed, the remnants of this legendary Kejakeno stone is still preserved in its original location even today. Gelhedzeko literally means sanctification pond. During forefathers' time, a ritual ceremony known as Pulho Menye was observed where male folks used to take bath in this pond symbolizing purity. Also warriors and hunters dip their spears and machete to purify before going to warpath or hunting. As one go around the village, one will see monolith erected at many locations, both within the village and nearby places, even in the paddy fields. These monoliths carry significant meaning in the lives of Naga, so is here at Kejakeno village. <laughs> <laughs> 